Hello, my name is Paul Gray. I'm a member of the fellowship here at St Peter's uh, and I'd just like to bring you a, a thought for the day. I wonder what you, tools you use to read your Bible. Um, I find that uh, carrying my mobile phone with me is a really great way of reading the Bible. Um, I can have more than one translation on here too and some study aids and it's always in my pocket so that's a really easy way to carry the Word of God around with me. Another method I use is to uh, to use my tablet. That's uh, pretty well as good as the phone, but the screen's much easier to read, read and uh, it's something I'd take along to a connect group meeting or something like that, because it's so easy to, to read the scripture and to bookmark pages and look up references very quickly. And both those devices are really handy because they're very light and you can carry them with you easily wherever you go. Um, the other day I picked up my Bible, I'm using both hands here because it's heavy, uh, and this is this is the old-fashioned way, if you like, of, of reading the Bible, um, and, and that's very effective. This is the study Bible, uh, it's great, but it's very bulky and it's heavy, uh, and it's hard to carry around with you. But it's the Word of God, just like the other devices are too. But sometimes we like to stick with the old-fashioned way of doing things, don't we? We don't want to take on the new ideas. We're much more comfortable with the way we've always been doing things. But let's just take a look at our passage today. Matthew 11, verses 29 to 30. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If you're wondering what a yoke was, well, it's the wooden assembly here uh, shown around the neck of these two oxen. And it has to be comfortable for them. It has to sit comfortably around the necks. Otherwise, when they pull on the plough or whatever it is they're dragging along, it will uh, make their necks sore. So to get a good day's work out of them, it's really important that that yoke is comfortable. In many ways, this week's been really disappointing, hasn't it, for everybody? Just at a time when we thought perhaps we're getting on top of the virus, we suddenly find ourselves going into what is now a total lockdown for the, for the whole country. And it's uh, really quite disappointing. If you're anything like me, you'll be getting quite wearisome uh, with this lockdown scenario. Uh, I'm missing friends, I'm missing socialising, I'm missing getting out and about and meeting people. Uh, and I'm finding that uh, when I go out for my daily walk, that I'm bumping into people who are feeling the same. We're all finding it increasingly wearisome at this time in this, uh, what is becoming increasingly an isolated world. Many of us haven't been able to have that planned holiday this year. Uh, maybe it just couldn't happen or maybe it got cancelled. And that seems to have happened to a lot of people this year. And in many ways, we've not been able to have that rest that time away when we could rest and uh, refresh ourselves in a really rich sense. And yet Jesus offers us a better way, a better way to live, a better way to cope, a better way to take each day as it comes. And that way might not actually cure the problem, but it does offer us peace and hope. But let's just take a look again at that passage that we read at the beginning. But this time, let's look at it in a, a different translation. So let's look at our passage again. This is Jesus speaking, but this time we're going to read from the message translation. Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. Perhaps today you'll join me in keeping company with Jesus to learn those unforced rhythms of grace and to learn to live freely and lightly. Have a great day.